How much would you say that calcium score that I got this time? It was almost twice the amount I had in uh, in 2010. Yeah. 2010 it was 479, and this time it was 949. Right. How much would you say that is kind of subjective to interpretation, or would you say it's pretty darn accurate? And even even if another radiologist that looked at it, probably come up with the same number. Let me take a quick look at your pictures, and I can let you know right away. Oh. If there's a lot of streak artifacts because your heart was beating um, too quickly and they couldn't get the images just right, it's very subjective. Oh. Or heart is relatively motionless, and the and the plaque looks like very nice. Then it's it's not. It'll it'll be the same regardless who does the scan. So even the calcium scan is subject to issues with heart rate, right? Yeah, because I mean we do we do pay, try to pace you, but if your heart rate is going too quickly, then it can definitely throw a few things off. Oh. So let me just take a quick peek at your scan first, and I can let you know right away if um, if there was a bit of motion, which would make the images a bit more subjective, or if they were pristine. So. Okay. You know what? You do have a bit of streak artifact um, in your RCA. Yeah, you do have some streaking in your RCA, which can be normal because um, that side of the heart would be beating quite a bit stronger, and it we can get some artifact on the, on uh, on those images or in that aspect of the image. So it could be very subjective. So if you want, I can quickly run over to the workstation and I can take a look at your previous study and see exactly how it's scored because sometimes the the software may score the actual streak and not the singular center part of the calcium, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to just redo your measurement completely because I, I'm i looking at your images, and what I'm looking at as your circumflex doesn't look like you've got any calcium in there at all unless they scored. Oh, no, there is a little bit of calcium there. Sorry, it, there is. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just going through your images super, super slow. And there's only two slices where there's actually calcium in it. Two out of how many? 64. Mm -hmm. So that would, that would suggest maybe not that much then, right? Well, on one slice, the circumflex is almost completely full. And on the other one, there's kind of sporadic bits of calcium throughout. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look at your first one, which was with your angio. That was July of 2010. Yes. Yeah, there is definitely more calcium in your circumflex than there was the first time. The first time around, you've got like a little tiny, just a little tiny bullet on one image. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then the remainder images have nothing. Your RCA, you know what, your RCA still has quite a bit, but there's no streak artifact. And I think part of the reason why is because you were here for the angio and you actually had the beta blocker at that time. So your heart would have been a much... Yeah, they, more they, um, easier to pace. They told me my heart rate was between around 58 and 60, and they told me they got stellar pictures. Like, oh, the first one, yeah, they are. They're, they're perfect. So, you know what? Let me go to your calcium score again. and okay. be a, I'm going to try to be a little bit more non-liberal with the scan. I'm going to try to cone the, um, the software into just the center portion of the calcium and see if I don't get a different result. Okay, that'd be I'll check with the radiologist. I know that the circumflex did absolutely go a little bit higher. Uh, the LED does look a little bit more, but that right kind of bothers me a little bit because if it scored the entire streak aspect, then your score would definitely be much higher. Mm -hmm. well, so can I give you a call back? Yeah, and another question I have is why in these tests, and uh, I've seen other people talking about these results on the internet, why is the left main artery score seemingly always zero? Or is it not actually measured in the left main artery? No, you know what, it's funny. So the left main is the one that they call the widow maker. It's because it comes directly off the aorta, it's short and it's stubby, and it leads into the circumflex and the left anterior descending. So because it's kind of the, the trunk of the problem, imagine a tree and the, the trunk is the LMA. And if the trunk has disease, it's gonna spread everywhere. So quite often because it's short and stubby and because it's much fatter and thicker than the other aspects of the, the arteries, we don't see disease in that artery quite as often. But that's not to say we don't. We quite often do see disease in there, just not on a lot of patients. Mm hmm Okay. I was just curious. Yeah. So when do you think we might have that for me? Oh, I'm going to go do it right now. Oh, okay. I'll hang around then. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. All right. Bye now. Malcolm speaking. Sure, how are you? Hi. Right, good. Thanks for calling back. Yeah. I redid your score, 
and I was very careful with what I was scoring. I did notice that the last score did, in fact, pick up on some of the streak artifacts. So I did kind of cone it in a little bit, and your score was around 716, I think, is what I came up with. You know, when I, um, do you know what my heart rate was during the during this procedure? Like I know last time, as I said, uh, they had mentioned that my heart rate was was well controlled. This time, is there a way that it actually records my heart rate during the procedure? It does at the time, but then as soon as your scan is finished, if they haven't actually written it down, that information is gone. Okay. So there's no way to look back and tell you what your heart rate was during that during that scan. Okay. Well, I really do appreciate everything you did for me anyway. Not a problem. And, uh, Anytime. Psychologically, I guess I feel better about, about a score of 716, even if... Uh, exactly. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Okay, okay bye now. Bye.